Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, this is uh, Apostle Brian Pruitt. I want to thank you all for uh, joining me. Um, I just want to uh, just to um, get with you this morning uh, to share with you something that, um, or just kind of go back and rehearse uh, something that the Lord uh, gave me that I thought was very important. I was in prayer uh, this morning. Uh, spending time in prayer and while I was praying uh, actually I was praying on relationships I was praying on relationships and Holy Spirit said to me he just stopped me and said I want you to you know go live <laughs> go go do this live pray over relationships live <clears throat> so this is what I'm doing right now uh, I was doing I was <clears throat> excuse me I was actually um, trying to do a live stream uh, of this or, or on our website which we normally do but uh, we were having some uh, some problems it was kind of like stopping and start so just decided to go just to go ahead and just make a a quick video here uh, but but anyway um, on August the 31st uh, I did a teaching on uh, I did a teaching called it's never too late and um, many of you you know have have already um, seen that teaching and if you haven't uh, I encourage you to go and check that out it's uh, it's on my it's on my uh, Facebook page it's on uh, and I believe we're gonna get it up on our YouTube channel as well uh, as soon as we can uh, but but anyway um, it was called never too late and it was steps to restoring your relationship and so while teaching that um, the Lord gave me, you know, I had several scriptures, but the Lord gave me this one particular scripture out of Matthew 13. And uh, out of it, uh, he gave me uh, just a fresh revelation. A fresh revelation came out of that. And I, I just want to just uh, go back and share that with you because today what we're going to do is we're going to pray a relationship. We're going to pray uh, and believe God. For those of you who who may be having some relationship issues, or maybe you know, what I'm saying you you know, you know it, it just didn't start today. You know, maybe it's been happening for quite a while now. And so, uh, I just want to just give you just this encouraging word, and I'm going to pray with you. But uh, Matthew uh, 13, Matthew chapter 13, and <clears throat> you, like I said, if you have not seen the teaching that I did on that, I encourage you to do so uh, because. Uh, it was just it was it was really great and uh we begin to uh we 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 nah, da, da, da. <laughs> we've been getting a lot of views <laughs> we've been getting a lot of views on <clears throat> on that video so check that out and everything i, I know it would be a blessing uh, to your life but i want to pull out some here uh that uh um that uh, Holy Spirit revealed, and, and it was actually a, a, a fresh prophetic word for us uh, right now. Matthew 13, verse 24, and I'm going to read this out of the New King James Version, and it just simply says this, Another parable he put forth to them, speaking of Jesus, saying, The kingdom is like a man who sowed good, sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the grain has sprouted and produced a crop, then the tares also appeared. So the servants of the owner came and said to him, Sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have tares? He said to them, An enemy has done this. The servant said to him, Do you want us to go and gather them up? But he said, No. Lest while you gather up the tares, you also uproot the wheat with them. Verse 30. Let them both grow until the, uh, until the harvest. And at the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, First gather the tares, uh, gather together the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barns. Now, uh, you know, I just, you know, if you got a little pen or... A little highlight or whatever. Just just highlight that part. Just highlight the part. Okay. In verse 30. Let, let both grow together until the harvest. And at the time of harvest. I will say to the reapers. First 
gather the tares and bind them in bundles to burn but gather the wheat into my barns until the time of harvest or at the time of harvest okay now uh many of you who have been you know uh follow along with me here you know that i love to talk about numbers you know and and give the biblical meaning uh of of numbers and i believe that is important uh, but those of you know that number the number eight actually means uh, new beginnings okay um, and on August the 31st is when I did this did this teaching the Holy Spirit said to me he says not by accident that you're doing this teaching on the last day of the month of August which is the number eight okay he said now you're stepping into the month uh you step into the ninth month september which is the month of harvest okay uh, uh august was the month of, <coughs> of beginnings he says now you're stepping into the month of harvest all right and so he said here he said that in the month of september the number nine means the number nine means fruit it means harvest it means fruitful and he says in the month of september there is going to be deliverance that's going to happen during the time of harvest so part of your harvest time is not just a gathering of what you have sowed but also the lord says that i'm going to send my reapers now to <clears throat> i'm going to send my reapers to uproot or to deliver you or to deliver you from the tares or to or to take or deliver you from the tares or take those tares or uproot those tares out of your life now since we're talking about relationships the word of the lord to you is is that this is the month of deliverance okay this is the month where god uproots now he uproots the tears out of your relationships okay now it's very important that we also remember that the bible says here that how the enemy got in because the men were sleeping and i uh, just want to interject in here that that's very important that that uh, that you're always praying okay that you're that you're always praying that you're always seeking the face of god to keep every area to keep every access points covered in your in your uh, relationship okay uh don't want to let the enemy in you don't want to allow the enemy to try to uh <clears throat> slip in in any way okay uh the bible says not to give the enemy place which means and we go through this through this teaching uh, uh that uh the word place there means opportunity to act and so by you praying you are stopping the enemy from having an opportunity to act uh on his agenda okay so uh so the lord says that this is the month now this is the month that you are going to see deliverance in your relationship so if you you know and so here's the thing and i hear this prophetically for many of you that what you've been dealing with is tears all right what you've been dealing with is is tears you have been dealing with or another i think the king james says uh the king james says weeds okay <clears throat> that's what you've been dealing with you've been dealing with weeds and so <clears throat> and so the lord says that now i'm coming this month and i'm going to deliver now i'm going to deliver you i'm going to pull i'm going to uproot those weeds those tears out of your relationship and i'm going to burn them hallelujah this is the month for that okay so i want to encourage you today that all is not lost all right <laughs> i want to encourage you that all is not lost and and after we pray after we pray because this is what holy spirit told me to do after we pray i want you to go and watch that teaching because because now after god delivers now after god delivers it's very important now to understand how how do you <clears throat> restore how do we restore you know not to get it back to where it was but to get it back to where it's supposed to be you know you know how how can i do this what's some steps that we can use and so i will encourage you to look at that teaching because i i just i took my time tonight and just went through 
I just, just really just taught on that and just took my time to explain uh, what the Lord was saying on, on steps and just some practical uh, wisdom keys, I should say, to help you as as you journey on your on as you journey uh, uh, in your time of uh, restoration. So, so just I want you to just hold on to that prophetic word today that this is the month, this is the month that you are going to see deliverance. In your relationships. All right. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's just pray. Father, we believe your word today. We believe your word. We believe your word. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, God, for what you have said. We declare out of, from your word that this is the time of harvest. This is the time of harvest, God. And not only we gather what is, we gather up what we have sown, which is good. But Father, you're also going to deliver as well. And you're going to uproot those things. Hallelujah. You're going to uproot those things that have been planted by the enemy. And so, Father, we just give you the praise right now. We thank you, God, for, for moving on this. Yes, Lord. We just thank you, God, for doing a fresh thing right now in relationship relationships Lord God father I pray in the name of Jesus yes Lord God I just speak restoration glory to God I speak restoration to every every relationship that's been having issues every relationships yes that's been bleeding I see I just see relationships uh, that has just has been bleeding for quite some time and been hemorrhaging but the Lord says as you are reaching out and touching him my goodness as you're touching him your faith has made you well hallelujah come on receive that word your faith has made your relationship well and so father i thank you right now and i bless you lord for relationships being restored today and i thank you lord god for major deliverance happening in relationships right now yes lord god every man every woman lord god yes who have been struggling lord god and been trying to get this thing to, to go and i and i and i see uh, a particular couple that you have been trying to you've been trying to work it out but it seems like it's just it just ain't working you know you both have been you know been trying to do this and that you've you know you've you've gone out you know you have you know set some time by yourself but it just seems like just the fire is not clicking it just seems like things are just not clicking well i just pray in the name of jesus in the name of jesus that now the fire comes back to your relationship in jesus name yes i declare it yes i thank you father for just removing the weed glory to god thank you for removing the weeds lord god and burning them away Thank you, Lord. And the Lord says that he's going to reveal the access points as well. He's going to reveal the access points. He's going to reveal to you how, how the enemy got in to sow the seeds. And he's going to show you, he's going to show you what seeds what seeds uh uh or the name of the seeds are or or what you have been dealing with so that uh, hallelujah yes so that you will see and so you'll even know how to pray and so many of you the lord is going to reveal to you those seeds that have been planted by the enemy so that as you begin to pray even further yes the lord says that i'm going to uproot those seeds and and i hear the lord saying as you come in line to what i want as you come in line as you come in line to my will as you come in line yes to my heart for your relationship and because I'm, I'm i'm hearing by the spirit that that that's someone you have already have given up you have already tossed in the towel you have already decided in your heart that it's time to end this that it's time to you know get a divorce and all of that and the lord says that if you will come in line with my heart if you come in line with what i want he says he says i will reveal to you what is at work he said i will reveal to you uh, uh those seeds that have been planted so that you can effectively pray he said but i shall deliver 
He says, before you throw in the white towel, before you go and, and, and sign the papers, he says, give me an opportunity to move. Give me an opportunity to act. My goodness, this is the year for the Lord to act. Hallelujah. This is the year. I proclaim that this is the year for the Lord to act. This is the year for the Lord to act on your behalf. In Jesus' mighty name, I call you to focus, says the Lord. I call you to focus. I call you to focus on me. It's so easy to, it's so easy to, and and, and the Lord said this to me. Uh, the Lord says to me, and you know, and I and I've learned this myself that uh, that that throughout relationships, that one of the things the enemy would love to do is 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 to get us in the position where we're pointing the finger at one another. And the Lord says that I'm calling you to focus. I'm calling you to focus. And so I heard it again in prayer this morning uh, for many of you that the Lord said, I want you to focus on me again. I want you to focus on me. I want you to put your eyes on me. Put your eyes on me. See me. Hallelujah. See me. Yes. See me now. Yes. Take your eyes off of it and see me in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, I just bless you right now for every heart, Lord God. Father, I thank you for healing today. I thank you for the ones, Lord God, who have been uh, who have been praying, Lord, who have been fighting for their relationship and fighting for their marriage. And, and many of you, uh, you have been doing that. And, and it's like uh, it's like you're on your last leg and you like and you said to yourself, God, I don't know if I, I, I don't know what else I can do. I don't I don't you know, I don't know you know if I can do this. You know, I've been I've been fighting and I've been swinging and and, <laughs> and all of this and and I've been doing everything I know to do. And uh, but. The Lord says the, the Lord says that 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 he said that hold on now hold on don't give up now he said because you have arrived hallelujah you have arrived you know what I see this picture as this is the picture that I see many of you um you may have seen the the uh, uh the movie facing the giants and um if you haven't seen the movie, I encourage you to do so because there's a particular scene in there where this young man, <clears throat> this this young man, uh, the coach had him uh, do a drill, and it was a, it was endurance, it was an endurance drill, and so um, you know you know this guy, you know he was you know just kept you know speaking negative and speaking doubt, and so he was like one of the captains of the team, and so excuse me, he you know he was one of the captains of the team. And so um, the coach says, uh, and I, I think it was called deadlifts, if if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but but anyway, uh, he had him on his knees, and uh, he took one of the, took one of the guys on the team and like like uh, strapped him on his back. So so the guy was on his knees, the other guy was on on his back up like this, and so he blindfolded him. Okay, and so he said that. Uh, he he said he he said okay when I blow the whistle I want you to I want you to crawl and so he's crawling and he's crawling and he's crawling and the whole thing is he he you know he wasn't on his knees now but he was kind of like you like on a on a squat like on the ground but kind of like squatted up and he's and he's like just 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 crawling just crawling and he says come on you can do it you can do it and so. Uh, uh, he didn't think that <laughs> he didn't think that he could uh, he could take it anymore, okay? Because he just kept crawling, and so the weight of the of the of the, uh, the, the, the his teammate that was on his back, it was like you know it was weighing. On. He said, "Coach, I can't go no more." He said, "Yes, you can. Come on." Yes, you can keep going, keep going. It's in you, keep going. So he just kept moving, he kept moving, he kept moving, he kept fighting, right? And so he was like, Coach, I can't do it, I can't do it. Oh, it's burning, Coach, <laughs> it's burning. And so all his muscles were like, you know, all his muscles were burning. Dude was sweating and all that. He was like, Coach, I can't do it. He said, Yes, you can, yes, you can, Brock, yes, you can. Come on, do it. And so he kept, just kept crawling, kept crawling. <clears throat> and so, um, He's like, Coach, I won't, I won't be able to do it. I won't be able to do it. And so I guess the whole, the whole point of him was to get to a certain, to, was to get to a certain point, to get to the certain point. I believe it was a fifty-yard line, if I'm not mistaken. And so the guy, so the guy was like, so the coach was like, Come on, you can do this. You can do. It. He's like, No, Coach, I can't do it. I can't do it. And so all of a sudden now, uh, uh, 
just you know, and just as he was like, you know, right when he was getting ready to get up, and he was like, okay, stop, and he's and, and he just he just like just collapsed on the on the ground, and he's and he said, Brock, open your eyes, look, and he took the blinders off his off his face, and he says, look at where you are, and the dude now the dude had crawled all the way from from one end from one end of the field to the other. Okay, from started he started like right at one end of the end zone to the other end zone, and the dude dude didn't even realize that he had crawled that far. But see, in his mind, he was like, you know, because he was feeling the weight, because he was feeling the pain, and all of that, and because he was feeling the burn, he was like, oh, I can't do it. And he had the voice on the he had the voice now he had the voice now uh, in his ear saying, yes, you can, yes, you can. Okay, he couldn't see the victory he could not see the goal but he kept moving because he heard a voice saying yes you can yes you can you can do this yes you can and so all of a sudden now this guy he takes like I say take the blinds off he said now look where you are the guy looked up and saw that he was at the other end of the end zone now remember now I believe it, if I'm not mistaken he was only having him to go to the 50 yard line and he was like you know that's that's impossible you know you know I can't do that and so not only he reached his goal but he surpassed his goal he waited from one end of the field to the other and so the coach told him uh he said don't you ever he said don't you ever say that you can't do anything he said don't you ever say that you that that you're not that you're not able to do this he said he said remember now he said you're the captain of this team he said, whatever you speak, you know, what I'm saying they're listening, they're going to believe. So if you speak doubt, they're going to speak doubt. If you believe you can't do it, they believe they can't do it. And so, <laughs> and so I mean, just very, I mean, just absolutely powerful, just absolutely powerful. And so, and so, and so when a guy looked around and just, and just see <laughs> that he was at the other end of the zone, I mean, he just, I mean, it was just like, oh, he couldn't believe it. He couldn't believe it. And so I share that to tell you all that many of you, many of you are just like that young guy. You've been crawling, you've been crawling, and you was like, Jesus, I can't do this. I can't do this. I, I don't know if I can make this. Uh, and Jesus was like, Yes, you can. Do you know do you know that the that that the Bible says that that uh that that the Lord is that the Lord is cheering for us? You, you know the you know the host of heaven is cheering for us? Yes, as we're moving along and as we're going forth and as we are, you know, heading, you know, heading, making headway through this journey. And, 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 and especially for many of you in relationships today, you know, you've been, you've been just like a guy, you've been crawling and you're like, I don't know if I can take this anymore and all of that. And Jesus is like, come on, come on. You're almost there. You're almost there. You're almost there. And I'm telling you, you have gone beyond. You have gone beyond your goal. And what you thought that you couldn't do, what you thought that you couldn't do, and what the enemy told you that you couldn't do, hallelujah, yes, you have already surpassed that. And so, uh, and so I'm telling you that you have arrived to your victory. You have arrived to your goal. You have, you have arrived to the time of harvest. You have arrived to the time of harvest. And so I just pray today, right now, that you open your eyes and see. Hallelujah. Open your eyes and see that there's that 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 there's more for you than against you. Yeah. There's more for you than against you. I know you, you have seen the attacks, but I'm telling you, there's more for you than against you. Just open your eyes and see now. Just open your eyes and see it today. And so, Father, I bless you, and I thank you right now, Lord God, for testimonies. Yes, Lord God, testimonies of those who have said that I was just about to give up. I was just about to toss this in. I was just about to say, hey, I'm done, and walk away. But, God, I heard you. I heard you, and I heard your word, and I received your word, and I applied it to my life, and now I'm seeing the fruits of it. I'm seeing the fruits of a decision. I'm, re I'm receiving the fruits of a choice and decision that I've made to not give up. 
And so, Father, I just bless you right now. And I give you the glory. And I give you the praise. And I thank you, Lord God, today. That you are able, Lord. Thank you for this time of harvest. Thank you for this time of harvest. And so, Lord, we just we just lift we just lift every individual up, Lord. And only you know, God. Only you know who has been struggling, God. Only you know, God, you know, who you seen and heard uh crying out for deliverance, Lord God. Only you know. And I, my prayer today, Father, is that they hear this word now and rejoice and receive. Yes, Lord, receive it with joy. Yes, Lord, knowing that you have heard their cry. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Well, thank you so much, as always, for allowing me to just to speak into your life and uh, be able to just come to you uh, this way. You know, I, I don't ever take it lightly. You know, I don't ever take this lightly. And so I just uh, just bless you guys for watching. And, uh, as, and as I said, I just encourage you to check out the teaching um, entitled, It's Never Too Late. It's Never Too Late, Steps to Restoring Your Relationship. I know that it will be a blessing to your life. Hey, listen, uh, holler at your boy. Let me know what's going on. Uh, like I said, we got our... Uh, I actually I didn't say I'm sorry that we actually have a new uh, uh, prayer box uh, prayer requests uh, a page on our website so if you go to the booking tab and right up under there you'll see you'll see prayer requests click on that you can send that to us send a send a prayer request uh, to us uh, your prayers will not be displayed on the page okay so once you give it to us it goes it goes straight to our box straight confidential and uh also there's a little box on there that if you want to remain anonymous anonymous and you just want to just put your prayer request without you know putting your name and your email and that sort of deal you can do that okay but just know that it goes straight you know it goes straight to our office and uh so just let you know that nobody else is seeing your prayer request okay and so it's going straight to us and and you know once we get it you know we just pray over it all right and so i want you to know that that we're you know god is really uh uh really uh spoken to us uh to lift up the needs of the people and, and to really pray and focus on the community and so this is what we're trying to do you know as as god gives us uh, uh the grace and just uh the wisdom on how to do it you know this is what we're doing so i want to let you know about that and uh, make that, you know, just make yourself available to that and, and just know that we're praying for you all because we love you and we appreciate you. You know, we may, have, may not have seen your face, but, you know, listen, you belong to God. And so that's all that matters. All right. Hey, listen, uh, I will uh, see you all this Sunday. See you all this Sunday at 3 p.m. We're going to continue on with the series uh, entitled uh, Get Real. We're on part six this Sunday. So, listen, you don't want to miss it, okay? We do have the video from last Sunday, uh, um, uh, the last teaching I did, on uh, part five, uh, which... Uh, which uh which was looking for love in all the wrong places and so if you didn't see that i encourage you to check that out okay all right now i'll uh, talk to you all later and uh, like i said we'll see you this sunday at 3 p.m uh as we come together to hear what the lord has to say all right take care bye-bye